Hello everyone. Welcome to SFDC Madhukar. So in this video, we will uh, learn how we can create our first project in VS Code. Okay. So let me tell about my introduction. So my name is Ashish Madhukar. I am seven years for certified and I want to ask a photo fundamental. You can connect with me on uh, LinkedIn and Twitter. And you can follow our channel, SFDC Madhukar, uh, for previous video and also future video. So let's go on the steps. So we have done in previous video our four steps. So now five steps about how we can create our first project and authorize our sales force fee or in VS code on how we can create our first LWC component. Okay. So let's go in the org and VS code and authorize org and create the project. Okay. So let's here. So this is our basically uh, LWC uh, project. How we can create your project? Just control in VS code, open your VS code and type control shift P. Okay. So here, if, if you see here, so your code create this one okay create project with many files if you type first time now so create a create project okay so there are two create project and create project with many files okay so because salesforce everything you know uh doing in the package dot xml basically okay package dot xml means uh, everything is handled with the uh, xml side Salesforce everything in the XML. So that's why we are creating uh, project with manifest. Manifest basically related to XML. Okay. So let's create our first project. Create on the create with manifest project and select a standard one. Okay. So just create our project name LWC training project. Press enter. So here you can go in desktop. So in desktop, our I have one okay folder projects. So just create project. Okay. So when you create your project, then it will be open like this. Okay. So after that, you need to be authorize your org in sales uh, in VS Code. Okay. Salesforce org basically is uh, authorized in a VS code, how you can just control again, type control shift P. Okay. Type here authorize. So when you type here, it will be not so. Why? Because you are creating the first project and your extension extension is not uh, activated. When you click here again, this command, see here your extension activating. Okay. So wait for some time, click again. Then it will be your extension activated. Now, see here, your extension activated. Also, you are showing the no default or set. So, what you should do? Just again type Control Shift P and type author right. So here, these are authorized or using the session ID and they are manage and authorize and org. So basically, just click on the authorize and org. So here three option production sandbox and custom and default project means basically the you know uh, production or developer or basically so when you authorize your developer org or production org so select this one when you authorize your sandbox or so select this one if you are using your salesforce using any you know in using uh, uh, basically custom url so you can select custom url okay so I'm using my basically uh, developer org to select this one production. Type here your alias name. It will be so in your VS code basically. Okay. So type here uh, like uh, LWC. Okay. Or press enter. Then it will be redirecting your basically uh, browser. Okay. For login. So here I'm using my this uh, developer org basically. Okay. 
So type your user name and password and just click on login. Okay. When you log in first time, then it will be uh, asking for the allow here. Okay. So then authentication successfully means your or authorized successfully. If you see in the VS code here, authorized and all successfully run. Okay. Means successful here. If you see here, your are also here. Basically. Now time to create your LWC component. Okay. So just click control shift P again and type create. Okay. Create lightning wave component. This one type here and type your any LWC component name. Okay. But make sure when you give in the LWC component name. So LWC component name should be start with the small only because in future when you are using your LWC component in parent or any child. Okay. So that now naming conversion like C hyphen and then component name. When in LWC component name, you are giving uh, capital. Okay. So then it will be replaced by hyphen and small. So that time you are giving from capital. So uh, how you can give the name hyphen in the in a starting. So that time is not uh, creating many problems. Why? It's in the duplicate this one because you can't, uh, uh, you know, you can't give the uh, C hyphen hyphen name. Okay. So make sure this point always start your LWC component with a small letter. So here I'm creating LWC component. Okay, this is my component. After small, you can give capital name, no problem. When capital name coming, so when you're calling this component in parent, so then it will be replaced with LWC hyphen C. C will be capital, then component like this. Future video, we will we will see how we can call like. Just press insert and select first one. Okay. So, yeah, your LWC component created successfully now. Okay. So, here, this is the free by default, uh, you know, some uh, file created one HTML, second JavaScript, a third one is the XML file, basically. Okay. So how you can learn uh, LWC because you don't know about much more, right? How which type you need to be used and all the things. So type here component library, this one, okay? Type component library, this one, and open component library here. So in component library, every tag you get here. What are the tag in LWC you can get here? Check here, accordion, accordion section, Atlantian, all the component here you can see everything okay input help text name location this text area layout everything you will get here okay see here lightning form everything card so let's create a check one by one okay let me select this card okay so let me copy this code okay this html already so you if you want so you can copy code but i already html tag in my components here if you check here already right so just paste here so you are fresher now okay so when you learn the lwc so what you do <coughs> just copy the tag name and paste in lwc component and check one by one what are the use of this how is working how is showing if you check here how it's going. So if you want to learn about this uh, one by one, everything. Okay. So here on the top of is showing the documents. Okay. So learn about this. So if you learn here, a lightning card is used applied to styling container around the grouping of information. The information could be the single item or group of items such as the related list, right? So you could learn about this specification. What are the specification? And what are the event basically here? Okay, header, icon name, label. These are the tags. These are the event on the this basically card tag. Okay, so you can learn about that. Just check one by one all the tags and learn about everything. 
so you can understand then you when requirements come okay so you can understand which tag i need to be used for this creating okay so when creating this so after that you need to be just expose your lwc component where you want to use without expose you can't use your lwc component okay so just expose equal to true okay so how you know we are uh, you want to uh, you want to expose okay so let's go in uh, here and let's check type here lwc expose metadata okay let's open this one <clears throat> okay so when you learn this one okay so here if you check here everything is given by about the metadata okay we are if you get the targets basically we are targets we are using targets here targets we are specified type of lightning component added to a builder or uh, lightning page home page the power page okay so let's do the one thing just copy this four line code okay copy and paste here so here first tag should be targets and say, this one target hyphen hyphen lightning under underscore at page and tiger close this type of everything you will get in the uh, metadata api okay wildcard support everything you can get uh, where you want to expose your component okay so i have saved this my component now just click here and write click your right the mouse okay and just here this is the deploy source to our source to our means uh, local to in environment just click then your are already selected here right so just go in the salesforce and log in <coughs> your salesforce org okay here my org this is click on the login So here I have uh, exposed app page record page and home page. Let let go on the home page and drag this component basically. Okay, type here home. <coughs> this is your home page. Okay, so you can drag your component here anywhere. Okay, let me edit here. Okay, this is the setup. In setup button we have the edit option. Just edit page and uh, here we have the component box okay type your component name here see here lwc components showing here right okay so here these are box so you can press send here you can drag here you can drag here let me drag this side okay see here your component name shown here just save it and go back So finally, your components going here, right? So let me go uh, again here in the LWC component uh, component library. Let me check here, okay? Input tag something. For example, if you want to some input tag here, so just copy this in uh, type an input tag. And if you see here, so these are preview also. It will be so here uh, if you check here. No? So here to be so the preview how your look like in the see here it's showing look like like so just copy this code for example i want to show this one line okay go to ivs code click on the html here is uh, you know showing basically footer so i want to uh, after button i want to show my this this copy and paste why I'm doing uh, saying only copy and paste, okay? So, <clears throat> because you don't know for now how you can use, how, what are the, what are the tag name, what are the use, okay? When you know about the tags, then you're able to learn. So just do one by one all the uh, comp uh, tags, okay? So here, uh, input type text and label given the name, okay? Label, what are, it will be so in the, your UI. Just right click and deploy. Okay. After deploy your all, 
so go to here in salesforce or just refresh here okay refresh your or and see here you can type your name this should be other okay so that's all for today next video we will learn uh decorator and all the other things in the website thanks for watching thanks for <coughs> joining the call and let's meet you another video thank you so much bye bye take care